Can you hear me now? Hey, folks, we're here today. We've got my buddy Jerome Smith here. Yes, sir. From down around Rogersville, Tennessee. That's right. Uh, Jerome's a great guitar player, and we're here today with my brand new uh, 5E3 Tweed Amp. It's got my logo on it, Professor Dan, right there. Do different capacitors have an effect on the tone of an amp? Um, there's a lot of myth out there about this. There's a lot of uh, dogma, a lot of discussion. Uh, what have you heard about it? Oh, it's, it's all over the board. I mean, you can say that it's different colors. Um, I think we are opening up a can of worms, but uh, it's going to be exciting. Well, we've got a box here I built. Uh, inside of it, there are different types of capacitors. We have four different types of capacitors today. We have the Mallory 150s, which are really popular and affordable. The Orange Drops, the 716P, the Jupiter Red, which is a copy of the old Astron's, and then we also have a Jupiter Yellow, which is kind of like a 1960s kind of cap. The red ones are more of an early 50s kind of capacitor. Oh, okay. So they all should have, well, they might have a different sound. I don't know. We're, that's why we're going to do this to find out. I'm going to find out. What we've done is I've got leads, flying leads here that are shielded, and they're connected into the amp at the various points where the capacitors normally would be. And the capacitors are switchable, so we'll be switching to each one and looping the same audio every time. That way, the audio stays the same. I don't know if this is scientific, but at least it's somewhat controlled. So I think it's, yeah, I, th I think it's almost there. It's almost scientific, which, you know, we're at ETSU today, university. We need to be at least almost scientific. <laughs> yes. so. These samples will be very repetitive and very short because, you know, if the samples are too long, then the brain kind of forgets the way that the sound was. So we'll be doing a lot of very annoying short samples. These audio files will be available at high quality by following the link below. And you guys tell us what you think. Yeah, we want to know what you hear. Because uh, we've also got my colleague Ben Bateson, who's back here at the control room. And, uh, you know, we, we might see him in a few minutes. But we're going to be listening very critically to this. So um, let's see what we find out. I don't know what it's going to do. I really don't. I'm trying to not have any preconceived notions. Yeah, trying to stay unbiased. Yeah. Uh, I really don't know what we're going to hear. I'm excited. This could have been a waste of money. I don't know. We'll I don't see. think so. We'll see. Interest. All right, here we go. This is the unscientific part. We're just going to switch through and see okay. if we hear any difference. So. Yeah. I think I like A and D the best. So do you Let's hear see. a difference between D and B? For sure. Oh, well, did you just go from B to D right oh, there? I'm just going between B and D right there. Yeah, oh yeah, Did for you sure. hear a difference? Yeah. Okay, so this is D. Okay. B. Back to D. B's more airy. Yeah, I agree. Which one? D? B. Uh, B. B. Is more airy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems like we're top end, yeah. yeah. Really? What do do it again. Think? Back to B. Same way? Yeah, I yeah. feel the same way. Really? Yeah. Cool. What do you think? I don't think. <laughs> Let's try A. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And you want me to play the same thing? Yeah. And then B. Go back to A and I'll All play right, what I played before. A, here's B. Low mids are warmer, but it uh, seems subdued almost a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I... B lines. Yeah. yeah. So that's warm. 
So A felt differently how? Um, hmm. Switch, do it again. So that's A, here's B. Hmm, I don't know, it's difficult. I still, yeah, it is hard. I, it seems like A is, has a little bit more harshness to it. Yeah. Let's go to C. That sounds almost honky compared to the other two, in comparison. Okay. Go back to B. Hmm, what do you think? I hear that honkiness there in yeah. C. Play B again. C. Yeah, I hear it. You hear a difference? Yeah. And we'll go back to D. It's almost like A through D is almost like brighter to darker, seems like. Yeah. Hmm, I'm curious to know which which is which. I'm going to say the orange drops have to be the, the brightest ones. I don't know. So what so what are you hearing just like off the cuff, just just not scientific, just playing as a player? What are you hearing? There is definitely a difference. There is most certainly a difference between every single one of them. Um and I, th I think it is. It's it's colors, and I, th I think it's going to be subjective. I think people's going to be torn right down the middle. I think I think people's going to like all of them. So you do hear, you feel like you hear a difference. Oh, for sure. And you no feel doubt. a difference when no you play doubt. it. No doubt. For sure, for sure. All right. Well, let's let's do something a little more scientific now. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's get a loop a going, little. and that way there's no difference in yeah. your playing. Okay. Sounds good. What do you think? I don't know, man. I was expecting more of a difference. Were you? I was, yeah. Did you hear a difference? Very subtle. Very okay. um, negligible, I will say. Negligible. I did this test with this box on my 75 
Vibrolux Reverb Amp. Mm. And it seemed pretty obvious to me. And I had my mother-in-law, Shelly, there. She heard a difference. The se what do you like about D better than A? D didn't bother my ears. A gets so high-pitched that it makes my ears ring. <laughs> So you heard a difference. I heard a difference. A, that was so bright and bothered you, were orange drop capacitors. And D, that you liked better and didn't hurt your ears, were Mallory capacitors. You don't like the orange drops because they're too bright. Bothered your ears. I think they could break glass. <laughs> and the yellow ones, the, the other ones, you thought sounded softer. It was smoother, yeah. I like that. Thank you, Mom. So I wonder if perhaps this amp's topology, you don't hear as much of a difference due to the fidelity of the amplifier or something. And there's not I, a lot of components in it. There's also. not as many components as like, yeah, like a, you know, a, a black panel amp that has, you know, 13 or you know, dozen or 13 com, uh, capacitors that things are running through. This has five capacitors that the signal's running through. Um, I do hear subtle differences at, at different points. Very super subtle, though, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm wondering if I'm fooling myself. Yeah, the the longer that I listen to the amp, the more similar they became. Yeah, I, I really thought that I oh, there are minute differences between them, but it's so close, so yeah. close. I don't know how anybody could argue and say one's better. Part two. You listen. You listen and tell us what you think. Do you hear differences? Uh, we, we've done as well as we can to present a consistent comparison between capacitors, uh, coupling capacitors in a 5E3 amp. And maybe there will be a part two. Maybe we need I to we bring the Vibrolux in. Uh, or you've got a Super Reverb at home that... I uh, don't have a Super. I've got a Twin, a Pro. A Pro Reverb. And a Princeton. So maybe what we could do is r recap the whole thing. Okay. Maybe. We'll Tried a that. few different ones. I don't know. Maybe there may be a part two. I think there's Maybe a be. part three. What do so. you think, Ben? I think there's going to be a part three, probably. <laughs> 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 Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. Please visit www.dansmusiconline.com and follow us on Facebook. Jerome, what's your Facebook? Uh, Jerome Smith. Jerome Smith. You got it. You got in early. That generic <laughs> name. You got it right there. Uh, go to Professor Dan on my Facebook if you would. And Dan's the and, man. And please subscribe. Ring that bell down at the bottom and get alerts whenever we got new videos here on the YouTube page. And um, I hope you all tune in for the next one. All right. See you later. So what is, I mean, what's on A, B, C, and D? You want to know? Yes. Yeah, I, I'm curious about it, yeah. All right. With they say that the orange drops sound the most hi-fi. And mm -hmm. I'm going to say that that's going to be A. I think that B is the red ones and D is the, the yellow Jupiters. And then what was the other one, Mallory? The Mallory 150s. I'm going to say that's D, C.